Hey everyone, Mitch coming in for the Khmer's Core Studio. Welcome to the show. Today's episode comes to you courtesy of Jake, who's been supporting this channel as a Brigadier General tier patron. I truly couldn't do this without the support of amazing patrons like Jake. So again, Jake, thank you so much. And today, Jake's going to hail the intro for me. This is Jake from Birmingham welcoming you to Commander's Quarters, your home for all things Commander. Whether it's budget deck building advice, card previews during spoiler season, or price updates on Wayfarer's Bobble, this channel has you covered. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and enjoy the episode. Take it away, Mitch. Thanks, Jake. So for Jake's shoutout episode, we're going to be talking about cards that you should pick up right now. When new sets and products come out, they can definitely impact the price of existing cards, especially when there are some fantastic reprints in those products. So on this episode, I'm going to highlight some of those fantastic cards that have dropped in price that you should be picking up now. And with all that said, let's jump into it. First up, let's start with some cards that are underneath $1 thanks to the reprints that came in the Warhammer 40k product. And the first one I want to highlight is Endless Atlas, which is finally budget friendly. 92 cents currently. It's only got, you know, a, another reprint essentially in Double Masters in Commander 2018. So yeah, this card has not been budget friendly for a long time. It's a great artifact for monocolored decks. Essentially, if you've got three lands with the same name, you can activate this to draw a card. And yeah, a monocolored deck is bound to have, you know, three planes or three mountains. And yeah, I mean, specifically in mono white decks, they do struggle when it comes to card advantage. So utilizing a card like this can really, really, really help them out. And I guess a colorless deck could use this as well with waste. But yeah, very happy to see this card finally reprinted. So now let's quickly take a look over at MTG stocks to see where this card has been when it comes to price and yeah i mean this card was nowhere near budget at least when it comes to again my budget standards of less than one dollar it was nearly four dollars and it's been over that at some times even though it did see that reprinting in double masters its price has been quite high for quite some time and yeah finally dropping underneath one dollar if you've been waiting for endless atlas to be more budget friendly make sure you pick this one up now Next up, another card, and I can't tell you the last time that this card was budget-friendly. I cannot remember it. Decree of Pain. It's a sorcery that's going to destroy all creatures, and they can't be regenerated. But yeah, I mean, this costs 8 mana, so you better get something good out of it. Yeah, you draw a card for each creature destroyed this way. So this can be a mass removal spell, as well as a mass draw spell. And with this reprinting, it's dropped its price all the way down to 84 cents. And as you can see, yeah, there have been some printings throughout the years. I mean, one was a secret layer drop, so that probably doesn't really count all that much. Commander 2017, 13, Commander's Arsenal, and Scourge. Not too many printings considering this card came out back when I first started playing Magic right around Scourge. So a long, long time ago. But yes, now this fantastic board wipe slash massive draw spell is, well, also it cycles, so I forgot to mention that. You can just, you know, cycle it away for one draw and, you know, minus two, minus two for all creatures until end of turn. So that's great too, but yeah, now it's finally underneath $1 at 84 cents. And yeah, a quick look at the NPG stocks chart. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, as of recently, the past couple of years, this card has not been anywhere near $1. I mean, it's been around $4 or so, even creeping up to five at one point, but yeah. Definitely not a budget-friendly card, at least again for my budget standards for a while. Finally, back underneath $1 at $0.84. Cents. So, if you're looking for a massive board wipe like this one that can provide a lot of value, pick it up. Speaking of board wipes, one that is fantastic, especially in mono black decks, let's talk about Mutilate. Mutilate is a sorcery that's going to give all creatures minus one, minus one until a turn for each swamp you control. So, yeah, if you are in a mono black deck, chances are you've got a lot of swamps in play. So, this is a pretty flexible board wipe one that is kind of you know going to get larger and larger throughout the game and its impact and it can wipe the board for just four mana and also again unlike something like a wrath of god or a damnation it can get around indestructible creatures so yeah with this reprint this is now a 33 cent card so well within my own budget standards as you can see over the years it has seen a couple of reprints but not for quite some time i mean the last you know major reprint was back in commander 2014 
Uh, I mean, we also a dual deck too, but I'm pretty sure that Garrick Liliana one came out quite a long time ago. So yeah, definitely, finally, budget friendly after a while. Because as you can see, I mean, the last time this card was within my own budget standards was back in January of 2021, so quite some time ago. And as of recent, well, its price jumped all the way up to around $3. So yeah, again, 33 cents, quite the deal for Mutilate. So pick this one up if you're looking for a great board wipe in mono black. Moving on, how about a fantastic board wipe that I am ecstatic to see, finally, finally, finally budget friendly, Talisman of Dominance. It's a very efficient two mana mana rock that can tap right colors or either blue or black and skin deal one damage to us. One damage is no big deal at all, so if we need that color fixing, we can utilize it. If not, just utilize the colorless and don't take the damage. The Talismans have been something that I've been wanting to see reprinted again and again and again for quite some time, so it is very promising to see this one especially uh, actually get reprinted. And, and yeah, unfortunately, not all of them have dropped underneath $1, but we'll talk about some other ones anyways. Yeah, on the right though, you can see that though this one was printed in Mirrodin originally, it really didn't see too many reprints. I mean, Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas was really the only other reprint for such a long time. Then in Midnight Hunt Commander, we got it. Then in Commander Legends, Battle for Baldur's Gate, we got it. And now we finally get it again. So here's hoping we keep getting it. But yeah, 84 cents is an incredible price for this card. When you consider where this price has been, you know, as early as last year, this price was all the way up near $10. I mean, even recently, its price was right around $5. So yeah, I mean, going all the way down to 84 cents is quite the drop from there. Wizards, keep reprinting the talismans. Thank you. Moving on, a card that, well, hasn't seen a reprint since 2013, quite a long time ago, Reverberate. It's a very simple instant, copy target insert sorcery spell, you may choose targets for the copy. Now we've seen a lot of cards like this since the last time this was printed, a lot of new cards like this, but it's always good to have additional copies of the same effect if your deck is looking to do specific things, and yeah, this is just a very solid card. For example, my Jota deck just loves about any kind of a copy spell, so yeah, reverberate, you're going to be going in there now that you are budget friendly at 71 cents. Again, it's kind of comical if you look at the right side of the chart. Okay, 2011, 2012, 2013. All right, we're on track. And then, uh, okay, uh, let's just wait until 2022 to reprint it. Um, not that I'm complaining. Thank you for reprinting it. Anyways, taking a quick look at the chart. Yeah, I mean, this used to be decently budget friendly back in 2020. And it jumped up to almost $5 around, you know, 2021. Recently dropped down a little bit, but still... 250 is definitely out of my budget range, and luck of this reprint it is now underneath $1. Next up, a card I am so happy to see be budget friendly again, and very budget friendly at that. Let's talk about Warren Power Stone. Warren Power Stone is an artifact for three that enters Battlefield tapped and taps for two, and yeah, I mean, this is just a very efficient mana rock that was very budget friendly a while back and yeah its price just kept creeping up without reprints so i am happy to see this be budget friendly again and here's hoping that this reprint is an indication for future reprints for this one as well to keep that price down i mean 35 cents that is a great price for a worn power stone because yeah as you can see on the chart uh its price again was underneath one dollar back in 2019 quite a long time ago and that has crept up to over $3 as of late. I mean, $2 more recently, but still, thank goodness for this reprint. It has been knocked down again all the way to 35 cents. Very, very budget friendly. So yeah, if you're looking for a very efficient mana rock, make sure you pick this one up. Next up, how about Farseek? My goodness, Farseek. I cannot remember the last time you were budget friendly. It has been four ever. Farseek is a sorcery that's going to get us a plains, island, swamp, or mountain put on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. So yeah, kind of like another rampant growth, but obviously better in certain circumstances if you can go get a land that's got different land types. You know, for like you non-budget players out there, like a dual land or whatnot. But yeah, still, I mean, just a two mana ramp spell like a rampant growth. Fantastic. So finally with this reprint, it is only 96 cents. And I do say only, even though it's, you know, only four cents underneath, you know, my $1 requirement but still it has been reprinted a couple of times over the years but its price has stayed up you know above that dollar mark times by remaster where they reprint nuka penna commander and dominator united commander reprint 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 finally with this one knocking its price underneath that dollar mark but as you can see yeah back when i started the channel years ago it was definitely a budget card well within those constraints and then all of a sudden in 2019 it shot up and then went back down with a reprint but then went all the way back up to around two dollars or so as of recently so with this most recent reprint thank goodness it is back to budget territory 
at least for the time being. Next up, how about an incredibly powerful card, especially in Storm decks with Past in Flames. It gives all your instant sorceries in your graveyard flashback until end of turn, and you can also flash this back itself. Again, this card is definitely not for every deck out there, but for the decks that do want it, they really want it, and I can definitely remember a certain decks that I built that really wanted this card, but unfortunately, it was just outside of budget range, so thankfully, with this reprint, is now at 78 sense so well within my own budget constraints and of course as you can see yeah over the years this has been reprinted a couple of times and yeah its price has kind of fluctuated between you know around four dollars down to around two dollars but yeah it really hasn't dropped into budget range for quite some time so finally 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 less than one dollar at again 78 cents Next up, though, a fantastic removal spell with Hole Breach, a sorcery that's going to let you choose one destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment, or destroy target artifact and target enchantment. So for just two mana, you've got the potential to get rid of two pesky permanents, and yeah, this can be great in a lot of decks out there. Finally, budget-friendly, again, at just 50 cents, so half of my requirement. And of course, as you can see on the right, yeah, this card has not seen a reprint for a long time. All the way back in 2013 was its last reprint, so we've been waiting for quite some time. Finally, finally getting it, dropping its price down to 50 cents. Very affordable. Years ago, again, when I started the channel, this card was budget-friendly for a short time, uh, but then, yeah, went outside of budget and really hasn't looked back since around $2 or so recently, finally dropping down again thanks to the reprint. So yeah, if you've been waiting for this fantastic removal spell to drop under a dollar like I have, pick it up now. Next up, a card that was budget for such a long time. It really held on for a really, really long time, and it's great in a lot of decks out there. Let's talk about Reconnaissance Mission. It says whenever a creature control deals combat with a player, you may draw a card, and it's got cycling for two. So this is what, basically coastal piracy, essentially, but better because you can cycle it away. And yeah, when this was printed, it was budget friendly for quite some time. And unfortunately, this is another one of those cards where I was building a deck and I was like, wait, in my search, where's Reconnaissance Mission? No, it's not budget anymore! But thanks to its reprint, it is just 33 cents well within that budget restriction. Very budget friendly. And yeah, again, I'm hoping to see this one reprinted more and more often because it's a great card. If you've got a go wide strategy or a lot of evasive creatures, you can draw a ton of cards thanks to this. And yeah, as you can see on MTG stocks, uh, according to this chart, uh, this card was budget friendly up until about May of this year. And then, yeah, it definitely fluctuated quite a bit, almost getting to around $2, but yeah, finally dropping back down underneath $1 thanks to this reprint. So here's hoping we see this one reprinted more in the future. Next up, though, how about Unclaimed Territory, a great card for tribal decks. It's a land that has you choose a creature type when it comes into play. It can either tap for a colorless or can tap for one may of any color for those creature spells. So yeah, just an incredibly effective land in those creature tribal strategies, which of course have a ton of those kinds of creatures in those decks. So it can help you really fix your colors very well. And with this reprint it is now just 67 cents. Now, this one has seen quite a few reprints over the years since this one came out in Ixalan. I mean, it was reprinted in Crimson Val, Midnight Hunt, and Commander 2020. Here's hoping this one keeps seeing more and more reprints, though, because, yeah, tribal decks are quite popular, and this card goes in quite a few of them. And if you look at the chart, yeah, this price has fluctuated over the years. Again, a couple of reprints have knocked its price down from around $2 to underneath $1 for a while, and then, of course, yeah, its price shot back up to over two dollars so with this reprint we will see how long it's going to stay underneath the dollar again currently 67 cents if you're looking for this for a travel deck make sure you pick it up sooner rather than later but now it's time for us to look at some cards that are over one dollar which have some massive price drops as well so in case you want to pick those up Cage Sun is a great one, now just $2.63. Essentially, when you come to play, you choose a color, your creatures of that color get plus plus one, and your lands that tap for that color are going to be tapping for twice as much of that color. This card can be incredibly impactful, especially in monocolor decks, and yeah, its price can reflect that. Uh, I mean, this card hasn't really seen an actual reprint since, you know, Commander Anthology Volume 2. With, you know, a slight reprint of that mystery booster in between, but still, it has been quite some time, and yeah... Hopefully, 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 we see even more reprints in the future, and this card may eventually one day be underneath my $1 mark. I'm not counting on it, uh, because I don't think this card ever really has been since I started playing, so yeah, we shall see. Because, yeah, if we look at the chart, I mean, this card has been pretty consistently between $5 and $10 or so. I mean, as of recent, it was over $5, so dropping down to just over $2. 
this is quite the price drop if you've been waiting for Cade Sun to be more budget friendly again uh not you know within my budget constraints but within your own make sure you pick it up moving on though next up we've got hardened scales a great low to the ground enchantment that's going to basically get an extra counter on creatures that are getting plus plus one counters and yeah plus plus one counter builds in commander are incredibly popular and this card is incredibly good in those decks so its price has definitely gone up throughout the years and, and yeah other formats definitely contribute to its price going up as well that being said as you can see on the right side of the screen yeah this card has seen some recent reprints again with the double masters 2022 and then this one so here's hoping there are more reprints in the future to keep this price down and maybe just maybe get it back to budget territory because this card has had quite the price journey i mean back in 2020 it was around $5 or so, jumping up to over $10 recently. That Double Masters reprint definitely helped knock it down. This helped knock it down further. So yeah, if you bought this card just a couple of months ago, you were paying $12 or so for it. Now you just have to pay $2.55, so a massive price drop for this one. If you've been waiting for this card to be more budget-friendly, you might want to jump on this one sooner than later. Next up, though, let's talk about another great tribal card with Herald's Horn. It's an artifact that's going to make you choose a creature type. Your creature spells of that type cost one less to cast, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you'll get the top card of your library. If it's a creature card of that type, you reveal it and put it in your hand. Basically, cost reduction, check. Uh, yeah, card advantage, uh, check. Yeah, this is good for tribal decks that have a lot of the same type of creature in them. And as you can see on the right, yeah, the price definitely reflects its popularity, the popularity of tribal decks. Now, recently, this card was reprinted in Commander Legends Battle for Barber's Gate, so that helped knock its price down a little bit. But yeah, this Warhammer 40k reprint definitely has helped knock it down further. It's $5.13 right now, which is much cheaper than it used to be. Because this card has had quite the wild ride. I mean, 2020, this card was over $10. It got up to over $15 at one point. And yeah, recently it was around $10 or so again, but yeah, about half that right now, again at $5.13. So if you've been waiting for this one to be more budget friendly, it's about half the price it used to be. Next up though, speaking of great artifacts, we've got Mystic Forge. It says you may look at the top card of your library anytime. You can cast artifact spells and color spells in the top of your library, and by tapping, you can pay one life to exile the top card of your library. So for an artifact-centric deck, this card can be absolutely incredible, letting you cast a lot of spells off the top of your library. And with this most recent reprinting, this is the first reprinting of this card. So finally, $2.86 right now for this reprint whereas the 2020 version had gotten quite expensive over the years. I mean, as you can see, back in even June of this year, this card was $5, and in September, it shot up to about $15 before eventually dropping to around $10. But yeah, I mean, this is definitely a lot cheaper currently at $2.86. So if you've been waiting for this one to get reprinted, now might be the time to pick this one up. Next up, a hilarious card that has, well... Not really seen too many printings and it's time and for good reason because it's kind of an odd card it is darkness that's right the mono black fog is here a simple instant for a black mana friend all combinations be dealt this turn so yeah again basically just fog now this card initially came out in legends so yeah a long 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 time ago recently reprinted in time spiral time shifted but yeah up to this point those have been the only two printings, so it can be quite expensive finally dropping down to $4.10, which is much less than it has been. Because, yeah, let's take a look at this monstrosity of a chart. Um, This card was, you know, $8 or so back in 2020, which apparently was a good deal for the card way back when, because this card shot up all the way to around $30 or so, uh, re more recently being, you know, just $15 or so, but still... Yeah, $15 is a ton, but yeah, $4.10, a much better deal than that. So, if you've been waiting for the Surprise Fog to be more budget-friendly, pick it up. Moving on, how about Living Death, another great board wipe that actually acts as a massive reanimation spell as well. Each player exiles all creature cards from their graveyard, then sacrifices all creature cards they control, then puts all cards they exile this way onto the battlefield. Basically, fill your graveyard with a lot of things, get rid of the board, and say hello to all of my little friends that I got from my graveyard. And with this reprinting, this is the lowest price that I can remember for quite some time at $2.94. Over the years, this has seen a smattering of reprints in some various products. I mean, the list is somewhere it's been reprinted, Mystery Booster. 
but still this is probably the most dedicated reprint we've seen for quite some time. And because of that, it was able to drop the price quite a bit. I mean, as of recent, as you can see, its price was around $10 or so. So yeah, it can drop that price down quite significantly. Moving on quickly, I did mention that we would talk about another Talisman or so, and yeah, Talisman of Progress, unfortunately, is not quite underneath $1 just yet because, well, this one really hasn't seen any reprints, like, ever. As you can see on the right, currently, it's $3.51 with this reprint, which is a lot less than it has been. The initial printing in Mirrodin basically was like its only actual printing because the World Champ decks, you know, it's Gold Border, different. And then also Secret Layer Drop. Yeah, that really doesn't count as a reprinting. That's just going to be, you know, a couple of, you know, them that are more expensive, essentially. So, yeah. Finally seeing this one actually reprinted in, you know, more of a regular product is very encouraging. And it dropped the price down to all the way to $3.51. Because, yeah, I mean, this price has been going up, up, up over time. I mean, getting to over $15 even recently this year. So again, much more affordable at $3.51 right now, and hopefully this is, you know, a showing of times to come. More reprints for the Talismans, please. Next up, how about another Mana Rock with Thought Vessel? Two Mana Mana Rocks, so very efficient, can tap colors, and it says you have no maximum hand size. So if you like drawing a ton of cards and holding onto your hand, great! And yeah, $2.71 right now is definitely less than it has been. Has seen a more recent reprint, too, in Battle for Baldur's Gate, so hopefully this one keeps seeing more and more reprints. But yeah, its price has definitely fluctuated over the years when reprints do occur. It was around $10 at one point, dropping down to under $5. Recently, it's been back up to 5 But yeah, with this reprint, back down to $2.71. It's the lowest that I've seen it in quite some time. So if you've been waiting for this card to be more budget-friendly, make sure you pick it up. Finally, one more Mana Rock that is finally getting more into budget territory, and hopefully one day it'll be less than $1. Let's talk about Guild of Lotus. Artifact for five, can tap for three mana of any one color, so incredibly efficient. Currently, it's $1.87, so, so close, so close, just about 90 cents away from being a budget card that I can utilize. Please, more reprints. But yeah, this is the lowest I've seen the price in a long time, and yeah, I mean, hopefully we get more and more reprints of this one. The last real reprint of it was all the way back in Dominaria. And as you can see, according to the chart, uh, yeah, its price has been creeping up and up and up over the years. I mean, over $4 at least. And thank you to this reprint, it has cut that in half, even more so than that. So hopefully some more reprints can cut that in half again, and then I can actually use this card in a deck. So here's hoping a lot of these fantastic cards, and even more, see some fantastic reprints in the future. And with that, this show is coming to a close, so it's my turn here from you. So in the comments below, let me know what your thoughts on this episode are, and as always, thanks again, and have a good one. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG Player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all their support.